boom. What's up, everyone? Mark Lobliner, CEO, MTS Nutrition, Chief Marketing Officer, TigerFitness.com. So I really want to get into this topic because it's been asked a lot. Now, if you guys have been following me a while, whatever you think, I haven't had much experience in steroid usage. Now, I've been on HRT or TRT mainly since I was 27 years old and I'm currently 40. However, I want to go over the best steroid cycle I've ever taken. I want to tell you how I felt, and I'm also going to tell you that this is not a recommendation to do steroids. This is not a video promoting illegal steroid use. This is simply a story about my experience with steroids and the reason that I got my best results. I'm going to say this is my best cycle ever is it's my only real cycle and I earned a bodybuilding pro card um, while doing this cycle. So without further ado, let me down this post-workout shake, little 015 Nutrition Big Hydro, mm. and get to work. So at around eight weeks out from my pro qualifier, I went on a pretty standard steroid cycle. It's not that much compared to what a lot of people use, but it was tremendous. I took every other day, 100 milligrams of testosterone propionate, 100 milligrams of Mastron, and I took 100 milligrams of Trenbolone acetate. Within the first two days, after my second injection, so the first three days, in the gym, I felt pretty lousy. In fact, I felt like crap everywhere. However, my performance in training, outside of my set, I was pretty miserable, Like, I'm usually a happy-go-lucky guy while training. During my set, I was God, okay? I was lifting weights I never knew I lifted. My pumps were unreal, but I was sweating during my sleep so much that I couldn't sleep soundly. I was having issues breathing due to the trend balloon. I hated it. I was looking better every day but it wasn't worth it. I noticed that while I didn't have roid rage, I wasn't the happiest individual. And those of you who know me know I'm probably the happiest guy you'll ever meet. So I did that every other day. At three weeks out, I threw in 10 milligrams of halo testin. I took 10 milligrams every day before training if I trained, three weeks out, At two weeks out, I took 20 milligrams and I would take that before a workout, all of it. Then I did 30 milligrams, one pill taken. um, If I I train in the evening, I'd take take one pill, 10 milligrams in the morning and then 20 before training. So I took 30 total milligrams the final week before prep. So let me tell you my one thought. If there's one regret I have in my life in bodybuilding, it's doing this cycle. Because I can never get those eight weeks back. And I was a miserable prick. And it doesn't stop at eight weeks. About four to eight weeks after the show, I was moody. I had mood swings. I was tired. I wasn't tired. I was manic. I was depressive. I was emotional. I remember I had an event after I earned my pro card. And it was Sunday. And we all went to IHOP and Chris Jones was there. Chris, if you're in the comment section, I want, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send you this video. If you could comment, I want you to comment on this. Big J was there. My buddy Van was there. And it was the only time in my life that a consumer, a fan, somebody who shopped at Tiger Fitness literally complained to my company, which I own, which is kind of weird, and me that he expected more, but I was a jerk. Those of you who met me at trade shows or even in a grocery store know I'm basically, I, I say this based on what people say, I'm a pretty friggin' nice guy. Like, I'm just a happy, nice guy. I hug everybody. I hug people. You know, the only complaint I get is I hug people too much and it's fucking weird. So, another thing I did, remember I said every other day with the trend balloon, with the, um, the Mastrone and the test? So two weeks out, not only was I taking the halo test, but I was also taking, I moved the injections up to every day. 
So every single day, I was injecting 100 milligrams of Trembolone, 100 milligrams of testosterone, to propionate, and 100 milligrams of Mastron. In addition to the Halo, we currently have about 30 varieties of the Big O Bar and the Outright Bar. Now here's what's really awesome, is that we have so many flavors, sometimes even we forget how many flavors we have. We forget to eat the flavors we love. So we're gonna go over our personal favorites and tell you why they're our favorites every day until we're out of flavors is what it comes down to. So I'm gonna start with the old time repeat by leader that you would never guess goes together. We launched this, it was supposed to be a special flavor for the Thanksgiving holiday time, but we ended up keeping it because the reviews were so positive and that is the white chocolate cranberry. Now the white chocolate cranberry, it just goes so well there. You can see in here, you got the rolled oats, the white chocolate, the cranberries. It is so delicious. It hits all areas of your taste buds. And in my opinion, this is just the one that I'm gonna roll with 90% of the time. I mean, that is my favorite bar of all time, but I got my second favorite right here, the banana walnut peanut butter. Look at this. That soft texture. Oh, look at that nut. That's a big nut right there, bro. Why are you looking at my nut? It's <laughs> <laughs> a good looking nut. Mm. It is, that one, the thing about the banana walnut is it hits like banana bread to me. Yeah. It hits like banana bread, brings back some good nostalgic memories. Ruckus, what's your flavor? Favorite flavor? Right, I can't eat chocolate chips, so I think I'll have some of that banana walnut. Ruckus is really excited. Anyway, what are your favorite Outright Bar flavors? Comment down below, but honestly, if you haven't tried, if you haven't tried the white chocolate cranberry, we sampled this at the convention we were at in Florida where I spoke, the Uberzati convention, mm -hmm. and we had Cookies and Cream, which is our best seller of all time, and this, which is not our best seller, but it's our best repeat buy flavor, and this one, we had the same amount of boxes. These went faster than the Cookies and Cream by probably double. I'm not surprised. Once you try this, you will try it again and again and again. Those are our favorite Outright Bars for today. Comment down below with your favorite. I was taking an aromatase inhibitor, which made me even more angry because I had no estrogen and estrogen is vital. So I was taking, I believe, 0.5 milligrams of anastrozole or arimidex every other day. A week before the show, I was taking one milligram every day to dry out. I don't know if that was right or it was wrong, but I was told to do it. And whatever it did, it worked because I looked great. Now, let me tell you about my lifts. Boy, did my workout suck. Like I would have five good sets and I'd have the greatest pumps, veins. My intro workout pictures on the gram were out of contraction. It was on Facebook back then. Amazing. After that, I just got tired. I was winded. I was sweaty. I was breathing hard. To go to sleep every night, I would take, at that time, I did not have MTS Nutrition Sleep Aid. I would take one and a half servings of Ronnie Coleman's Resurrect PM alongside one or two doses of z which is basically NyQuil, but just the sleep part of it. The most unhealthy eight weeks of my life. So bad. I probably took five years off my life. I'm not even lying. So... I felt really bad the whole time. I felt the worst after the show. So after the show, I stop all that and I go back on TRT. 200 milligrams testosterone cypionate prescribed every week. That's it. Did I have a sex drive? I don't remember. If I did, I was too angry for my wife to even want to have sex with me. Do I regret it? Yes. Absolutely. I regret doing that cycle. I can't take it back and I'm not going to lie to you and say, I've never done a hardcore cycle. I've always said that. I said, dude, my last cycle was 2013. And it was Halo, Trend, Mastron, Test. Unfortunately, that's nothing compared to what people are using. I have a client right now, I'm not going to name names, who I took over from another coach. I'm not going to name names there either, but it surprised me who this coach was. This kid weighs 154 pounds 
and is on probably double. He's on probably the equivalent of what I was doing the last two weeks. But dude ain't even competing. He's just trying to look good for the summer. These coaches are prescribing too many drugs. Look, guys, when done in a healthy manner, when done as HRT or TRT or replacement, HRT could be the healthiest thing you do for your life. But like people who die of hyperemia, where they drink too much water, any good thing taken to extremes can be really, really bad. I am not anti-steroid. I am not anti-freedom. I don't give a shit what you put in your body. That's your choice. All I can do is tell you what I've done and what my feelings are now that it's been, that was 2013, now that it's been eight years since I did it. Do I have regrets? Absolutely. But if I didn't say this, you wouldn't know. So you might hear my story. I didn't tell you the kicker. So I normally bench at that time. I did flat bench before I kept straining my pec. I would bench 315 for five to eight reps. The Tuesday before my show, when I was on the 30 milligrams of Halo and Tran and Test and Master on every day, I did 405 for 10 reps. It's, it's, on, it's on YouTube somewhere. I did 405 for 10 reps. I could never do 405 for 10 reps in the off season with Jesus Christ himself spotting me. So you might hear this video and say, YOLO, I don't give up. I don't care. I'm going to do whatever it takes to make them gains, to win that pro card, and to look the best I can. And that's fine. Your body, your choice. As someone who did that, as someone who earned his pro card, which is worth nothing right now, I highly urge you not to do it. If you do it, again, be safe. There's no real way to be safe with black market trend below, let's be real. Be careful. Be careful. Look, man, I have sons. I have two sons. I have a daughter. They all play sports. I don't want them going down that path. There's no need. None of y'all are going to be Phil Heath. None of y'all are going to be Brandon Curry. None of y'all are going to be Steph Curry. Most of you people watching this video are just normal guys like me. The best you'll do is get a pro card. And with that pro card, you might do okay as a pro, but you're not going to make money doing it. For what? So you could be the man one day on stage. It goes away. And then no one cares. And the worst thing is psychologically, after you win that show, you realize nobody cares that you're a pro. And you just risked your life for nothing. A lot of people have these stories about I was taking drugs. I felt like Superman. Yeah, I mean, there were moments I was lifting that weight that I felt pretty damn strong. But as I look back, I'm embarrassed of the way I acted and the decisions I made. And I'm embarrassed of the whole situation. So that's all I got to say. Anyway, guys, that is the best steroid cycle I've ever done. And I pray that you don't follow my footsteps and do the same thing. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Um, if you like me, be sure to patronize me and go shop and buy all your supplements from Tiger Fitness. I'm the creator of the Outright Bar, the number one bar in the country right now. Tens of thousands, if not over 100,000 retail locations, including being the number one bar in the vitamin shop and tigerfitness.com. Owner of MTS Nutrition, Ambrosia, 015 Nutrition, and partner in Pump Chasers and a couple others. All right, guys, I appreciate you watching. Like this video, subscribe to this channel, and tell all your friends that that's not a game. Kali Power Pizza, I gotta admit, I'm one of those guys who said, if you're gonna eat pizza, eat real pizza. But Flex Pro Meals has not done me wrong. 20 carbs, 55 protein, 30 fat for y'all keto types. I'm gonna throw it in the microwave and we're gonna try this bad boy out. Flex it with the microwave, y'all. I'm gonna need to try it, it smells good. I wish y'all could smell this, but unfortunately, you know, my boy, my boy Steve Jobs died before he could figure that function out on the iPhone. So here comes the dog. Rocky, you, you know, I would like some of that cauliflower pizza. Can I have, can I, I'll try, I'll be a taste tester. All right, here he goes. That was him talking, by the way, I'm not weird. Look, it's actually cut into little pieces. So what we're gonna do is, I don't want to burn my mouth. 
So we're gonna pause this. I'm gonna come back to you in about two minutes. This actually, I have this nifty little spatula. Look how perfect it was made for this. So here we go. So I'm gonna try this, all right? So look, it actually resembles a pizza and it actually holds like a pizza. Oh my God. They actually did it. They made a low carb pizza that did. This is amazing, guys. Anyway, flexpromeals.com. Coupon code LOWBLINDER saves you some cash. And try this pizza. This is good.